As the fourth quarter gets rolling, let's check in with the third member of our team, Doris Burke, for the Sprite Spark Report. Doris? Hey, Kevin. Well, our spark of the game goes to the Bulls for that major surge. It was a nice run, guys, and they just keep extending their lead. They're in complete control now. Great, Doris. That big scoring run being a difference maker, Clark, in this game. Well, it often comes in spurts, Kevin. Spurtability is what I call it, and that's what happened today. Here's Rose. So with Boozer on the bench, here's the five for Tom Thibodeau right now. Dang out there with Derrick Rose. Then it's Taj Gibson. Then there's Thomas and Johnson. Five to shoot. Pass to Dang. For three. Kept alive. Three on the clock. And Chicago turns it over. You can't be careless with the ball. That's a loss of focus, plain and simple. Here is Stuckey. Now here's Prince, defended by Gibson. This is one of the key reasons why they're losing. You have to get more production out of your core star players. Rose up on top, covered by Hamilton. Pass to Johnson. From deep. Good. Johnson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Right now, they're getting the long ball to fall for. Him. I mean, they didn't have the same success they had earlier in the first half, but they stuck with it, stayed persistent in what they do, and now it's starting to pay off. Prince. Another miss by Prince. He's got to break out of this slump if his team wants a chance to win. Rose passes to Gibson. Takes it up. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. And the Bulls lead by 18. Stuckey against Rose. Back to McGrady. He's guarded by Johnson. And that one's good. McGrady. No one really contested him at the basket that time, Kevin. He's just too good in there to leave the door open for. Now Thomas. Thomas sets a pick. Hamilton against Dang. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. That's really a magnificent job from the field today. I mean, they're lighting it up here in the second half, and you've got to attribute it to... Their concentration and their ball movement. I mean, they're getting the shots they want, and they're knocking them down. Backing down is Max Seal. Baseline jumper, and the Pistons getting another bucket right there. That's exactly where the coach wants him to get his shot, Kevin. Right there from mid-range. And Gibson to Thomas. Outside Rose. Eight feet out. And it's Chicago scoring again. These guys are putting on a clinic. They're playing with confidence, and their offense is really flowing. The 10-footer. Another miss by Prince. He's not having much success here in the fourth quarter. He's struggling to hit his shots. He's got to settle down and make sure he takes good shots. Dang, covered by Hamilton. Dang can't get it to go. And it's Detroit's ball. They trail by 18. Prince kicks to Hamilton. The shot is off. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's Gibson. Right side Rose. Flushes it in. The way this man can flush it is one of the reasons he's so much fun to watch. Well, does he ever show us anything less? He's so dependable. Always on top of his game. Here's Prince. The strong finish to throw it down. And he'll go to the line for one more. That's on Kurt Thomas. With no one around to challenge him, you're going to see that kind of finish every time. It's too easy that way. Well, those, you know, those are the kind of chances you dream about. You sure do, man. You love that opportunity. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for Chicago. Brewer comes in for James Johnson. 
Looking at the game Tayshawn Prince has been having, 13 points, and he's had a steal in there, too. He's shown some flash with his passing and some grit with his board work. Outside Rose. Here's Dang. Rebound by Wallace. Here comes Rodney Stuckey. And Rose picks him up defensively. Here's Prince. Off target for three. You know, you don't want to leave anybody out there that wide open. No with it. Puts the hammer down. He has almost supernatural bouncing ability. He can bounce right out of the building. <laughs> Only a handful of players have that kind of athleticism, Clark. Shoots from 12. Yes, on the jump shot. Inside, outside, Kevin. I love it. He drew the D in and then kicked it out to the open man. Here's Chicago. They lead by 17. Outside Rose. He's guarded by Stuckey. Unloads from nine. Rose, no good. And here is Stuckey. Here's Wilcox, and he dunks that one through. That's a terrific play. All he had to do was catch it and finish. Here's Rose. Just one more assist, and he'll have the double-double. Back to Dang. Off the mark with the three ball. He's having some real issues getting the ball to fall for him here in the fourth quarter. He still is yet to make a field goal. Boy, when you run the fast break correctly, it's a thing of beauty. Back to Rose. Goes up and finished off by Noah. When he gets it going like this, you've got to double team it. That's your only hope. And here are the Pistons now. 15-point game. Prince, right side. He's picked up by Dang. Wilcox with the screen. The shot, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Kicks to Rose. What? It stays here. So both teams changing it up here. Knocked loose. Boozer from 17 feet out. Bynum snatches the defensive rebound. Wallace against Boozer. Wallace misses. They're putting bodies on bodies and cleaning up the misses. Yeah, they're winning definitely the inside matchup right now. Now here's Prince. Defense is right there. The 10-footer. Bynum, no good. The D served it up on the platter, and he still wasn't able to convert. He's got to be disappointed. Pass to Boozer. And Noah backs down. It's dumped off. Here's Watson. It's hauled in by Max Seal. When you settle for that kind of shot, that's a wasted possession. That is not a high percentage look. Fouled, and he was real close to getting the three-point opportunity. He'll go to the line for two. Not a bad foul there, Kevin. You don't want him to get the easy layup. The first one falls. Luol Dang is checked in for Chicago. Rose comes in for, for C.J. Watson. And then for Detroit, Richard Hamilton's checked in for Ben Gordon. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. Here's Noah. Left side, Rose. Boozer, no luck. 
And here is Bynum. Dang against Prince. Pass to Hamilton. And Rose picks him up defensively. Nice shot by Hamilton. Here's Rose. Outside Boozer. And here is Brewer. Here's Noah. It's hauled in by Max Seal. And it's Detroit's ball. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Now Bynum into Max Seal. That's in coming off the assist from Bynum. They have now scored six unanswered. Beautiful delivery with the bounce pass. He kept it away from the defense, which set up the shot perfectly. Rose dishes to Boozer. Working on Max Seal. Shots good by Boozer. Here's Bynum. And here are the Pistons now. They're on a 15-6 run. Prince against Dang from 17 feet out. And the Pistons getting another bucket right there. He's starting to pick up his game in this half. The Bulls leading by nine. Leads him with the pass. Great anticipation. Pass to Bynum. And Rose picks him up defensively. Here's Prince. Kept alive. For a guy his size, he grabs a lot of rebounds, and this game's been no exception. Dang kicks it to Noah. Here's Brewer. Deshaun Prince with the rebound. He really needs to hit that consistently, or they'll just keep letting him shoot it. Here's Hamilton. Takes it up. Can't get it to go. You gotta expect more out of him here. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter which in turn is making it difficult for them to cut into this deficit at all. Dang with the bucket. That's a good look. Very nice look. Now a timeout called by Detroit. They're losing by 11. 158 left to the fourth. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. John Kuster had some words for his team over that break. He pumped his team up saying, it's moments like these that you play for. Leave everything you have on the court and play like you know you can. Let's watch, Kevin. The Pistons making a switch here. Stucky's checked in. Well, it's hard to believe that we're at this point in the game and he still hasn't registered a single point. Boozer passes to Deck. Here's Brewer. Rebound Matt Seal. The defense couldn't close out on the mid-range, Jay, and the shooter made him pay. Here's Stuckey. And that's laid up and in. And they make it a single-digit game. That's where you want to be getting the majority of your shots from on offense. Pass to Rose. It's taken away by Stuckey. Hamilton up top over Dang. No good from Hamilton. The Bulls leading by nine. Goes up. And good with the shot. And the whistle blows for the contact and a chance for one more. Looking at the game for Noah, he has 14 points and he's rejected more than his share of shots today. He's been putting it up and it's been going down 100% from the floor. They haven't been getting to the line as much here. I think they have a tendency to not be as aggressive when they have the lead, and that's a natural tendency. You exhale, get a little comfortable with the lead, but they've got to stay in an aggressive posture here. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent ball movement. And I love the unselfishness. It's a joy to watch. Now here's Rose. Clock at four. With one second left, the shot will not go. Pistons go the other way with the ball. Less than a minute remaining now. Looks like this one's all but done, Kev. Stucky kicks to Hamilton. Scooped up. Connects from in close. Hamilton's got 20 points. Nice. Big momentum builders, those second chance points. Back to Rose. Oh, 
And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan Brand Player of the Game, Derek Rose.